Hello and welcome to today's edition of the Danielle Daily Show. I am Danielle Watson. Thank you so much for joining me here. I know that this is the part of the afternoon where a lot of us are either taking a lunch break if we're on the west coast or we're hitting that afternoon slump if we're on the east coast so i'm hoping that by tuning into the show today i'm going to give you that little bit of punch of energy that you need to get through the rest of your afternoon and I want to encourage you to find other places to connect with me. You know, I love connecting with you here live on the Danielle Daly Show, but there are so many other places you could be getting slapped in the face with all this positivity. So I wanted to share that with you today. I'll be kind of giving you resources throughout the show, places that you can connect with me, because having those things sort of popping up in your daily life places that you already visit places like twitter instagram facebook your email having resources and things that make you feel good that help you keep your focus in the direction that you want it to go those things if you have them sort of automatically set up to come in it makes it so much easier to keep yourself focused even when things around you are sort of going off the rails those little reminders are very helpful in keeping you on track so once again i'm danielle watson this is the danielle daily show i'm so grateful to have you guys here it looks like people are starting to tune in. Facebook is notifying me that they're telling people to follow and join the video, which is awesome. I know some of you are having trouble receiving the notifications, and I would love it if you watch the show on a regular basis. If you'd let me know either through a private message or in the comments how you're joining the show, if you're going to my page and finding it, Um, if the notifications are coming up or not, let me know how you're connecting here because I know that there have been some difficulties since I've shifted this over to doing this through my page rather than through my personal profile. I have a great note to sell for you today. This is for all of the perfectionists and overachievers out there. I have like hearts and thumbs ups and faces coming across the screen already. I'm not sure who that is. If you're le- if you're here, let me know in the comments just by saying hi. I so appreciate that. I love that you guys watch, but unless you say hello or unless I can tell by the little tiny picture of you that goes across the screen, um, unless I can pick you out, I'm not sure who's here. It looks like Eric is here. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. So perfectionism and overachievement. You know, not necessarily bad things, but things that can also come back to bite us in the butt if we don't use them for good instead of evil. So we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Tammy's here, awesome. Thank you so much for joining me live, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. It's so much more fun when you guys contribute to the show. There was so much wisdom contributed to the show by viewers yesterday. And I just cannot say it enough times, what you guys bring to the show as viewers is so much more valuable than anything I come up with on my own. I'm just one little person with one perspective. And by you guys bringing your wisdom and your thoughts and your perspective, we just, we have so much more that is going out there into the world and helping other people. Eric. Eric is being silly in the comments. I'm not going to read those. You guys can read them uh, yourselves. But okay, so today we are talking about perfection and overachieving. And I think that these are actually really great things. I have been emailing the people who are in my tribe this week about using those good feelings that we have when we have achieved something in the past and using it to help to help drive us forward towards our next goal. And just just pulling up those feelings, remembering what it felt like the last time that you achieved something fantastic, and then using that to drive us towards the next thing that we want to achieve. Because about this time in January, a lot of us start to feel a deflated level of enthusiasm for the goals that we set at the end of last year or at the beginning of this year. You know, a lot of us, even if we don't set New Year's resolutions, we feel like, okay, the the new year, it's a clean slate. I'm gonna make some changes. I'm going to grow myself. I'm gonna stretch myself. I'm gonna do things in a different way. And about this time is really when that inspiration and motivation starts to wane. And so that's why I've been sending out those emails this week. And I'm, I'm getting good feedback that people are excited to share what it is they're working on with me and they like the idea of using that that energy that we get from having achieved something 
to drive them forward. But there's also something that happens <laughs> to many of us who, who want to achieve a lot and it, it's basically overwhelm. I don't know if you've seen the meme out there where it shows, you know, 6 a.m. I'm going to do all of the things. And then at 9 a.m. haven't done any of the things. And then noon, oh my goodness, um, I should really start doing the things. And then 3 o'clock p.m., I'm, you know, mainlining peanut butter cups like they were just invented. And I think a lot of us run into that because we want to do all of the things and we're ambitious and we want to achieve and we want to get it all done. But we can't. We cannot do all of the things. And so one of the things I've been talking about with my tribe, and if you're if you're not receiving the emails, if you're not already part of the tribe, I will leave a link in the comments after the broadcast so you can get on get on in with all of us there and you'll start receiving the emails tomorrow. And I would love I would love to have you there. I would love to have you part of that group. Um, Eric says it's always an interesting debate of pushing forward and then also if not uh, if it's not broken don't fix it yes so pushing forward can be awesome but it can also end up taking us into a place where we're, we're just overdoing so I want to think about different ways that we can measure our progress today. So one of the ways that I've been encouraging people to measure their progress is to look at are things actually progressing? Have I moved from where I was towards where I want to be? And just focusing on one area. So I know that many of us have different goals in different areas of our lives and we tend to dilute or diffuse the energy that goes towards reaching the outcome or reaching the goal by trying to do too many things. So I've been really encouraging the people in my tribe, the people that I consider part of, you know, the Danielle Daly family to just take one thing and focus on taking the steps towards it. And I gave the example of the yoga challenge that you guys have heard about ad nauseum. If I had laid down a challenge for myself to do all of the yoga in one day or even in one week, I probably would have failed <laughs> and I probably would have hurt myself in the process. But when you set out a challenge for yourself, if you do it in a reasonable amount of time, it's pretty certain that you're actually going to meet that challenge, that you're actually going to meet your goal, that you're actually going to grow and progress in the ways you need to, to come to that end point where you want to be. And I know we always talk about, oh, it's the journey, it's the journey, the journey is awesome. And I love, I love the journey. The journey is awesome. But man, doesn't it feel good when you reach a goal that you've been working towards, right? And I love that feeling of enthusiasm and excitement that comes with having achieved something that I set out to do that I hadn't done before and maybe I wasn't even sure that I could do, but I love that feeling of success that comes when I do what it is I need to do and what I know it is that needs to be done to get to that place. I just, I feel like that's such an exciting energy and I know we've all been there and I think that is an energy that we can harness right now to help us continue with the momentum that we've already built. I know this time of year, this last part of January, that's when the momentum really starts to feel like it's falling off as we're trying to reach our goals. And if you're an overachiever or a perfectionist, you don't really like having undone things on your list, right? It, how satisfying is it to cross something off your list, whether it's a to-do or a personal challenge or a goal, it's super satisfying, like sickly satisfying <laughs> to be able to cross that off your list or check it off your list. So. I'm trying to give you guys resources to help you do that. So like I said, I've been sending out an email to my tribe every day this week. I will put the link in the comments if you'd like to get in on it there. I'm talking about it on the show this week. I'm putting things out there on Twitter. If you're not following me there, I'm at Danielle Daily TV. And 
I am just finding every channel I can to be sort of in your face with this encouragement as well as focus because sometimes we can get so full of enthusiasm and so full of energy and so full of ambition that we end up trying to like run in six different directions at once and then we end up achieving none of what we set out to do and what I want for you is for you to feel that pumped up awesome satisfying feeling of having actually achieved what you set out to achieve because I know if you're anything like me perfectionism overachievement they drive you they drive you in such good ways but it's like the worst feeling in the world when we don't actually achieve a goal and so I am giving you guys resources to set yourself up for success so that you can rock your goals so that you can rock your ambitions and so that you can have that awesome just like totally life is on fire feeling that you get when you actually reach a goal that you've been working towards. So I really appreciate you guys joining me live. I appreciate your comments. Let me know if you're here. I have no idea who's watching unless you say hello and I love to be able to greet you by name. That's awesome. Uh, Eric says, let down is rough. The struggle is real. You're so right. You know, let down if you're the kind of person who is ambitious, it's the worst. I mean, I know there are some slacker people out there who don't really mind if they don't achieve their goals or they don't mind being let down. I know those slacker people have to exist. None of them, I don't hang out with any of them and I can't even imagine what it's like to be one of those people. So for those of us who are always reaching and striving and trying to become more and trying to be all that we can be and trying to live life to the fullest, that feeling of letdown is the worst. And so I am just throwing resources at you as fast as I can from as many directions as I can to help you stay on track towards working towards what it is you want to achieve. Amber says, hi, Danielle, a little late to the party, but excited to get to listen today. I am excited that you get to listen today too. And Amber is a very dear friend of mine, one of my very best friends, and I'm hoping to get to actually see her in person tomorrow. I'm waiting, waiting for a reply from her on a possible time tomorrow. So hopefully she'll get that to me or I'll, I'll text her later. So, okay. Today's note to self. Are you ready? Are you going to write it down? I hope that you'll write it down because I think this one is really just right to the point and it's a great reminder to keep on your desk, to keep somewhere where you look at what it is that you're trying to achieve every day, whether you have a to-do list or maybe you put it in your, in your um, mobile device as a little reminder. I think this is a really powerful one that it's super simple, but it will remind you, hey, you know, get back on track. Don't fall into that place of defeat. Don't fall into that place of overwhelming yourself with too many things. And don't measure where you're at based on whether or not you've actually finished what it is that you're trying to do yet. So here it is. Are you ready? Okay. Today's note to self says, dear self, keep measuring your success in terms of progress not performance. I'll read that to you again. Dear self, keep measuring your success in terms of progress, not performance. And I always sign mine, love me. You, you may sign yours however you like. But this concept of measuring our progress, um, our success in terms of progress rather than performance is so key because really reaching any goal, achieving any ambition, is really about taking a series of steps in the right direction. It is really about, I have so many hearts and thumbs ups and laughy faces, thank you, whoever is doing that. The little heads are so small, it's hard to tell who that is, but I, I really thank you. So doing these things and measuring them in terms of making progress is so important because we're we're always kind of in process, aren't we? It's, it's very rare that we have those moments of actually celebrating the true achievement of whatever it is. And if we look at, at all the progress that we make along the way, that affords us so many opportunities to feel successful and to celebrate our success along the way. And so when we get to where it is that we're looking to go, it, we have this just this amazing feeling of having fulfilled something, but getting there without having flogged ourselves on the back 
all the way there because we weren't instantly there. Having a practice of moving towards and focusing on what it is you want to achieve is the key to actually achieving what you want to achieve. So think about that. Think about measuring your success in terms of your progress, in terms of your tenacity, in terms of your stick to in terms of taking the steps that you need to take, in terms of doing what it is you can do today, rather than did I finish it? Did I complete it? Did I check the whole thing off the list? Really think about your success and your achievement in terms of making the steps, making the progress, moving in that direction. Tammy says, and don't measure it against somebody else. Yes, that's so key. So we didn't talk about that today, but the number of steps or the direction that you move in is really individual to you. So say, for example, you're writing a book. For some people, it will take them a year. For some people, it will take them a month. For some people, it will take them a lifetime because the steps they needed to go through and the ways that they needed to grow to achieve having written that book are different. And so really think about your success in terms of your own personal growth and your spiritual growth and always becoming more of who you need to be to achieve that goal. It Sometimes the goal in itself becomes irrelevant. I don't know if that's ever happened to you or you've had a goal and the goal suddenly becomes unimportant because all of the things that you did along the way to try to get there were so much more fulfilling and were so much more growth oriented and caused you to maybe even decide that you, you wanted something else and, and that's totally cool. Let me read you the note to self one more time. Remember, I will put the link to where you can get in on the, the newsletter and be part of the tribe in the, in the comments after the broadcast is over. I hope that you guys will look for me on, on Twitter. I'm at Danielle Daily TV. I also have an Instagram account. It's the underscore Danielle Daily. And I'm just, I'm trying to bring this all over the place. I post these on my LinkedIn. I'm just, I'm trying to just get this out to everyone everybody who needs to see it and try to sort of hit you from all sides so that there is constantly some kind of positive reinforcement slapping you in the face so that even when you know things go crazy in your life and you get off track there is always something that's sort of hurting you back and reminding you of where you want to focus and how you want to move forward okay let me read that note to self one more time I'll let you guys go it says dear self keep measuring your success in terms of progress not performance, okay? Give some thought to that. Let me know what you think. Let me know how it applies to you. Let me know if there's any way that I can help you, what it is you need from me. I love addressing the things that you or the people that you care about are facing during the show. Nothing makes me happier than hearing from you. So please feel free to reach out to me either through the comments, during the broadcast, after the broadcast, or private message me. I'm, I'm more than happy to listen to what it is that's going on in your life and help any way that I can. All right, so that was today's show. Again, this is the Danielle Daily Show. I am here every weekday at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern, which is noon Pacific. You can join me here every single day of the week for your boost of something positive, something inspiring, or something powerful. I always give you a note to self, and I so appreciate it when you share this broadcast or the replay with people in your life who you feel like could use something positive, something inspiring, or something powerful. That is really the way that the word about the show gets out there. It, everybody who knows me pretty much is sick of hearing about this. So I need you guys to let people who I, whom I am not connected with know that you love this show and that it makes you feel good and that you think it contributes something. So I appreciate you sharing it. All right, I love you guys. I will see you again same time here tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Mwah. Bye.